this invisible line, he gets closer, gets closer to the trigger, and he's up here. So he, the distance will dissipate, but we got to start at that point. Right. Okay? So we're going to mark him for looking at objects. We're not going to start with the dog. All right? We're going to start with something very, very boring, very neutral. I'm going to have an idea. this behind my back. I'm going to pull it out. Curiosity, he's going to look at it. Yes. Take it away. Give him a piece of food. Wait a second. Take it out. Looks at it. Yes. So you're marking him looking. Looking at it. Looking at it. Okay. That's sort of, that's step one. Yes. Step one. Really? I want to pause. Yes. I do not have to, I don't want it to target it. It just needs to look at it. He said, what you got, Mama? Yes. You take it away. Beautiful. Good. Yeah. Nice. Oh, so fun. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, so, so simple, Mom. I'm looking. Yeah, marking for... Yes. Right. Beautiful. Yes. So, now, isn't that a beautiful representation? Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah, I had to do my mind pull. But what's that? Now, the example of that is, I'm just going to sort of feed that right here so I can speak, is if you use your marker work and he can't turn his head, you're too darn close. And we knew we were close then because, so now, right, right, right. we'll look at it again. He's lost his interest. Yes. There. See his ability? To turn back. To turn back. Yes. Okay. I'm marking him for looking. Wow. Because he's curious about that. It's nice. Now, how do I know when I can do a little bit more? When I got that beautiful focus just like this. And he's right? Like, I don't care about that. You're a meatball. So what can I do? I could have my child, um, yes, I could have my child pick it up and drop it. Or I could take, oh, sorry, sweetheart. I could take a step closer. Good boy. Very nice.